Welcome to another edition of SoCal Sense. I'm Jeff, and today I'm joined once again by the amazing Sarah. Sarah, welcome, Sarah. Thank you. We got some spring fragrances for you. Um, spring into summer, when it starts to freshen, greening up mm -hmm. outside, and it just those invigorating, like bright, citrusy, yeah. fun scents. So very cool. You ready? I am ready. Awesome. You ready for the first one? I'm ready for the first one. Ooh. Okay. I mean, yeah, this is really bright. It's fresh. It's good for like a day outside, a day by the pool. Yeah. This to me smells like a man who golfs and surfs. Okay. I can see that. It's good. It's good. I'm going to give this one, I'm going to give this one a six. Six? A six. Yeah. It smells similar to some other things that I've smelled before. Okay. 100%. Um, hasn't blown me away, but it smells very good. So, so. good, not great. Yeah, yeah, good. So if they were wearing this, you'd be like, you, you smell really good. Yeah, you smell good. Cool, yeah. awesome. This is why Eau de Parfum Intense. Yeah. All right, you ready for the next <laughs> yeah, one? Yeah, I'm ready. Oh, I love this one. Yeah, it's bright and fresh, but it has like a sweetness to it. Yeah. Really unique. I'm gonna give this one a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10. Yes. Sexy. It's very sexy, yeah. Yeah, this I, smells like a good like date fragrance. Yeah, I find it to be a a uh, versatile fresh fragrance, but it's super sexy, easy mm -hmm. to wear. Any age can wear it because fresh and clean never goes out of style. Very true, very true. Um, it was my favorite release from a few years ago. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It's so. a good one. Very good summer fragrance. So nine out of ten. Mm -hmm. Cool. This is Lacoste Blanc Au Fresh. Au Fresh. Third one. Mm. You know, I like this one. But there's something about it I don't love. Okay. There's almost, it's because it's, you know, it's zingy. It's fresh, but there's something heavy about it as well. So it's not my personal favorite. I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it a four. Four. It's not my favorite. Is it bad? It's not bad. If they were wearing it, it'd be okay. But it's it would not be okay. Favorite. Yeah, but but I wouldn't be blown away. It's not away. repulsive. No, not repulsive. Yeah, not repulsive. Just not my favorite. Cool. This is glacial essence. All right, fourth one. I like this one. I do. It's not like overwhelmingly like citrus or bright or whatever. No. It's a little bit like softer of a summer scent, mm -hmm. like an iced tea. Um, it was really nice and I would give this an eight. Eight? Mm -hmm. I like it. It smells super relaxing to me. Yeah, it does. It's soothing. It's like, I want to cuddle up with this man. Yeah, it's, that's 100, that's the best way to put it. It's like, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, I need to relax. I need to chill out. Like, yeah. this is a chill out, like unwind type of. It's like when you're at a festival and everything's really crazy and then you get back to the hotel and it's like quiet like, for the I first time zen. in like a whole day. <laughs> and that's what this like smells like to me. Cool. This is really Lacoste nice. Loam Timeless. Um, now it came out a few years ago, and I featured it on the channel before. But it's one of those ones where like not a lot of people talk about it, and I'm like, it actually really? smells really, really good. Yeah, I like it. I like um, it a lot. But so if you're looking for a relaxing fragrance, this is mm -hmm. it's a vibe. I feel soothed. Yes. Cool. Second to last one. Oh, this is really nice. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is gorgeous. I would give this one a 10. 10 out of 10? Yeah, this is 10 out of 10 for me for like the perfect like summer fragrance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, once this, it starts warming up like 70 and above, this one like really works nice. Yeah, it doesn't have that like overwhelmingly cologne smell. It's just like really good. Like if someone was wearing this, I would be like, what are you wearing? You smell great. Yeah, yeah. Love this So one. 10 out of 10? This is a 10 out of 10 for me. This is Polo Deep Blue. Mm. Awesome. The last one of these spring into summer fragrances. Okay, this one is really good as well. Yeah. It almost has like a similar quality to the last one. I think it's got a little bit more of a sweetness than a lot of the summer and spring scents do that I really like, that yeah. I find really attractive. You can tie it on the opening because we will I think break I'm, it I think I'm going to tie it. I think this one's also a 10 for me. Is it sexy? It's very sexy. 
It's very sexy, it's cute, it's hot. 10 out of 10. I enjoy that one as well. Mm -hmm. It uses rhubarb, which hey, I find interesting. That's where the sweetness is. Yeah, so it's lime, rhubarb, and dry woods are the main three accords. That's really good. Yeah. I like this a lot. I find it super unique and different, but mm -hmm. really. It is very unique. Really nice. Yes, yes, 10 out of 10. Cool, this is Elysium O Intense. Mm -hmm. But we will break these ties on the dry down where she's gonna let us know if they got better, if they got worse, or if they stayed the same, and then what her preference order is on all six of these. So we'll see you in a few. We are back on the dry downs. Mm -hmm. Sarah's gonna let us know if she likes them better, worse, or the same. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, why EDP intense? Better. Okay, it improved for better. you. Yeah, it softened out a little bit. So you gave it a six out of 10 on the opening. Mm -hmm. A little bit better or a lot better? I'd say up to like a seven, a little bit better. A little bit better. Yeah. Cool. Um, then we have, I put them upside down. I couldn't read what I wrote. <laughs> <laughs> then we have, uh, oh, there we go. Sorry, I can't read. Okay. Lacoste Blanc Eau Fresh, one of your favorites on the opening. Mm, yeah, this one's still really good. It's the same. Same. Yeah. I mean, you, you loved it to begin with. Yeah, I still love it. Great. So cute. Keeping that the same. Then we have Glacial Essence. Mm, the same. Same. Mm -hmm. This one you weren't super into to begin with. Yeah. It's not my favorite, but still good. Not bad. Cool. Then we have, um, where is it? Timeless, Lacoste Long Timeless. This was the relaxing Still really good. The same. The same. Mm -hmm. Still like this one though. Yeah. Fantastic scent. Great. Then we have one of your favorites from the opening, which is Polo Deep Blue. The same. You still love still it. Still love it. Yeah. Really good. Really good. Okay. And then your other favorite from the opening, Elysium O Intense. Still my favorite and I think it smells better. It smells better. Mm -hmm, I don't prove. Okay, hold that in your right hand. Okay. All right. So in your left hand will be Polo Deep Blue. Your other ten out of ten. This one. Elysium O Intense. Yeah. Okay. Then we have Lacoste Loam Timeless. Still this one. Still this one. Timeless mm -hmm. though is is a different scent. You're yeah. You're gonna wear it's it different. for totally different things. Mm -hmm because it's super relaxing. And then we have Lacoste Blanc Eau Fraiche. I would say this one, but this is very close. Very close? Yeah, yeah, very, very so, close. So close second. Yes. So first place, Elysium Eau Intense. So good. Second place, Lacoste Blanc Eau Fraiche. Very good. Third place, Polo Deep Blue, mm -hmm. you love that one. I do. I mean, yeah. you scored it a 10 out of 10 and you mm -hmm. kept it the same. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's a fantastic fragrance. And then your fourth place was uh, Lacoste Loam Timeless, which was the relaxing scent. Very nice. Get it if you need a relaxing scent. Mm -hmm. Like if that's your vibe, you want to feel like relaxing and cozy, like it's still fresh, it's a fresh fragrance, but yeah. it's, it's a chill, it's, it's, it's a tea. That fresh, clean summer yeah. soothingness. That one's rhubarb too, it's rhubarb and tea. Um, I find rhubarb to be an interesting note in fragrances. Yeah. And then why EDP Intense is your fifth place. And in last place was Glacial Essence, which just wasn't your kind of fragrance, but you didn't hate it. No. Amazing. But Le Elysium O Intense is the winner of yes. this video. I enjoy it too. Um, it just pops on my skin. I just, I feel like it's one of those ones where it's like, when I wear it, I just feel like it makes me feel like I smell good. It's like, just such a gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance. Really hot, really sexy. Yeah, Love and it. I don't know any fragrance that kind of smells like that. I don't either, it's unique. Yeah. Cool, thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Which one of these six are your go-tos from this bunch? If you haven't tried any of these, which ones do you want to try the most? Let us know down below and follow us down below. But yeah, bye guys. Bye.
I always joke, you know, like the pickled ginger from like sushi and stuff. Oh, pickled ginger. I was thinking pickle and ginger. No, no, no. Like ginger. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Um, I always joke, I'm always like, hot girls love pickles. Yeah. It's like a thing. It is true. We do. And um, every, like, it's a, yeah. <laughs> hot girls love pickles. We do. We do. Um,